Migrating an Angular CLI project to NX is as easy as it can get. Let's have a look. So this is an Angular CLI project, which is currently using version 14. And I want to migrate this to an NX workspace. The annex.dev documentation has a dedicated article on exactly that. So all we need to do is actually use the ng-add command and add the novel Angular package, and that will run automatically the migration that is needed to make it an annex workspace. So let's try to migrate our current workspace. So all I'm going to do is to use that ng-add command, adding novel.angular, and letting that run. I'm not using any additional options here, but you could totally use the, for instance, preserve workspace layout if you want to keep the normal Angular layout, such as a source folder, uh, as you have in this layout here. So once the installation has finished, you can see we now get to the typical NX-based setup and layout structure. So we have an applications folder where our Angular app has been moved into. We have a libs folder, which is used for having all those libraries within an NX workspace, which obviously is currently empty. And there's still a source folder around here, so we can delete it because it is empty. And we have also all the NX-specific files here at the very bottom, such as the NX.json, which which has already set up for using the NX caching capabilities, and also the global TS config base, which can be used then later for mapping different libraries in your workspace. The AngularJSON is still there, though it got migrated to the version that NX uses. And if you also happen to have NX console installed, you can basically jump to the configuration for that project. So the main difference here is that NX splits up the config into smaller project-specific configurations, but those are very similar or mostly identical to what Angular CLI uses. So now that we have this, we can actually just go and run it. So let's open up the application here and you can see it just runs as we obviously expect. The cool part is this also works in a multi-project Angular CLI works with just as seamlessly as this one. Hope this was helpful and as always, see you in the next one.